if I may generalize a little bit, uh, some jazz guys, they take it like way beyond maybe the average listener's perception of it what's possible. It becomes scientific or like experimenting yeah. in the laboratory, you know. Yeah, and with dance, it, again, generalizing, it, yeah, you have more an audience in mind, if I may say, uh, or think. Do you think, how far can you take it actually? Do you have found a route where you found the right balance between maybe some I think it's, I think it's important to, whatever you're doing, you're always sending a message out through your music, you know? And you can either say that in a very long technical sentence, or you can try and say it in a way that people can understand you and they get that emotion and that feeling through the message that you can either say in a lot of words or in a few. And what we're always trying to do in, with dance music is dance music's a very emotive feeling and jazz is a very cerebral feeling. And the instinct combined with... I'm just pointing with, that out, so yeah, the, <laughs> just in case you Just over here, yours is Thank there. You. <laughs> you know, if you need to combine both into something, and that's, that's the fine balance of trying to have that instinct combined with, you know, thought. And what message do you get from that? I mean, if you want to convey An a uplifting message. one, a positive one. Think is well, I mean, that's just that's not even a musical thing, that's just a general it's a feeling. I think you know, there's enough, there's enough horrible things in the world <laughs> to you know, that uh, I think music is one of the one of the cleanest, most um, incredible forms of escape that you can you really have. And so, and I think that's kind of been a, one of our general goals when we make music to you know, to be able to make music that you can lose yourself in. Mm -hmm. Because I read, yeah, you've spent quite an amount of time in. In Ibiza, and also maybe because you're now more successful, you have more gigs as a result of that, which is good, of course. But yeah, with maybe producing a positive message and being in that kind of environment a lot of the time, is, is it can it be or get it a bit surreal, maybe sometimes? Even? Ibiza is a very crazy place, you know, there's no two ways about it. It's, mm -hmm. you, it can be anything you want it to be. Ibiza, you can get stuck in there and get straight into the party scene, or you can go and get lost on a on a beach, and no one will ever see you. You know, if if you know where to you know where to go, um, and that's what we love about the island. It's a it's a magical place, which, for some reason, became instinctively like the home of of partying and dance music. Um, you know, obviously people go there to party, but for us, the reason we're there is we love music, mm -hmm. um, and, and it attracts a whole lot of people, like-minded people, like-minded people, and. And people are just uh, here, just are excited about music, all sorts of music, and obviously with the, you know, dance music being the strongest kind of, you know, aspect of that. And uh, it's, it's a very inspirational place. Will you, will, will you see yourself or come back there for forever? Each amount of time, yeah. I'd love to go there every summer. It's, it's an inspirational place. You go there, you when you when you step out of the airport, there's a feeling, there's a feeling you can't explain. It's there's nothing something. quite like being on a plane heading to Ibiza when people, everyone just is. Everyone's so buzzing. excited. Half the people are already partying. They don't even know why they're excited, but they just are. But is it, can it be a, a kind of a bubble? Maybe, a, a, as you mentioned before, maybe an escape from a certain reality? Yeah, sure. sure. Is that a good thing to, to... I mean, is it healthy to stay there for a long time? Or some some people need an re escape, a release Look, valve. If you, know? you, if, you, if you go to, and you stay in Ibiza for more than a few weeks, you, you, know, you, you sort of... You kind of chill. You, kind you of regulate yourself. It's a super chill place. You can actually... You know, you don't have to go out and party. You can just, like Dom said, you just go lie on the beach or, you know, go Climb the mountains. see amazing, lots of amazing food. There's lots of cool little things to do there. Um, and of course, the problem with Ibiza, with most people, is they come for five days and they want to see every club, everything. They want to go to every beach. They want to do, and they end up not sleeping. And <laughs> they're just like having a. They need a holiday from yeah, their holiday. <laughs> you have to go. There should be like a recovery island. <laughs> it is. It's called Formentera. <laughs> Next door. <laughs> I think for you, maybe one more problem, there's no waves there, I think. Yeah, it's a big problem. If it had, it would be the best <laughs> I would place. Move there. <laughs> I would move there permanently. Oh yeah, if there were waves, she'd still be in trouble, yeah. we'd be there. Um, yeah, no, that's, that's the only deal breaker. Unfortunately, no, nothing's really perfect. But you know what, then. it's maybe a good thing, because I wouldn't want to live there the whole year round either. You know, it's, we're so lucky that we get to have a yin and yang, north and south hemispheres, 